Okay. Right, so this is a design one as well. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Hit me. Am I the arsehole for telling artists who copy my artwork that they're copying me? How can you be an arsehole for stating the truth? I don't know, but let's see. Could be a grey area. So far, it's been very, you know, black and white, hasn't yeah. it? Hey all, I'm an illustrator and I feel the online art world is just impossible to control, but when it comes to local artists, it feels like a shitty feeling. Yeah. In the past year, I've had two incidents where the artists are, one, following me on Instagram, two, know my work or participated in collaborations I have initiated, three, are from the same area as me, and four, are supposed to be my friend. So before I send messages concerning artists, I always send the comparisons to my friends who are either in the same domain as me and people who are not. I ask to see what they think and hopefully they find ways to help me to speak to the person who copied me in a very calm, non-threatening way. At some point, I feel very frustrated, wondering, am I the arsehole for asking for a conversation to clear things out? But then when they try to defend what they did rather than just admit they were inspired by what they saw on my Instagram recently... I show proof and screenshots of the dates and the similarities to basically point out the obvious. I just feel very weird because I don't want this to be an ego trip, but I just feel like it's not okay to make work that I've been trying to explore every day and prove they just suddenly take the same composition, colour scheme or subjects of something I've done either two days before or many months before their own creation. So yeah, am I the asshole to try and defend my work? Thanks. So it's not a specific incident it's just in general because obviously she's experienced it quite a bit I mean I don't know why she's commenting in this because yeah (laughs) I don't think she's the arsehole for doing Mm. that no I think you just have to be there's a way that you have to you have to figure out whether it's worth it or not or whether how are you figuring out whether you're going to want to say what you want to say yeah no I won't go into detail but I'll say like I have said this to an artist before and it ended up being very detrimental to my mental health the I don't want to use repercussions because repercussions isn't the right word but after I confronted a, a creative after seeing some similarities and after being constantly sent their work by many different people who were following me I ended up yeah just sending them a very nice message it was a very nice yeah I was like I'm like really sorry to say this (laughs) Um, but I felt like I had to I do see some similarities I had some other people saying that they see some similarities we should all raise each other up and I love it if I inspire people that's amazing but I do think there's a lot of similarities there and it's hard to ignore and it was a burden on me and I just needed to say something. I don't want you to take this as a dig. I don't know if you've done, essentially, I don't know if you've done this subconsciously or if you've done it. And then I got a not very nice message back and it ended up turning into something a lot bigger and I was portrayed to be a bitch essentially essentially I was portrayed to be a big creator shitting well not even big like I think I was at like 8k at the time a bigger creator shitting on a smaller creator and it was made to be something my words was twisted what I said was twisted the a message I sent one message and it was implied that I've been harassing harassing her for months uh, but yeah, no. So I think it's it's a difficult one. It is it is tricky. So before I had that experience, I think that I would have said, "Yep, yeah, that's it. Yep, yeah, just message them. Just let them know." But after that experience, it was so detrimental to my mental health because I was. It was just. It was really. It was. It was petty, and it was. It got. It got very personal, and it got very. Got nasty. It got quite nasty. Um. And I was just kind of sat there thinking, I don't, I don't want to say anything. I don't want to come across to be a bitch. Because she had everyone on the side, didn't she? Well, yeah. I mean, there was a lot of like big creators that I followed that then I was blocked by. <laughs> so I don't know. It's, it's, it's a difficult it's one. So I don't, sad. I don't regret, I don't regret 
bringing it up to them because it was something that was really weighing on my mind and it was stressing me out and I was struggling to sleep because of it um but yeah no I hope hope that creator is now doing well <laughs> I, hope, I hope she's good yeah, but yeah I know do. I think I don't know it's a tough one I think maybe try and weigh up your options and try and say it in the in the nicest way and just try and explain your views and try and come of, come of it from a place of love love and light rather than a place of like defensiveness I think it's when when we create art and when we feel like someone's stealing a piece of us we can get very defensive but I yeah. in my situation I try to keep as as very like chill and casual I think I even send the message to her. I was like I can't tell you what to do it's your life you can make what you want it's like it's, but I'm just letting you know how I feel that's I'm just letting like, you know how yeah, I feel because yeah. uh, I feel like this um but yeah no it was completely disregarded and my feelings were invalidated um but yeah no so I think maybe do see, message it, yeah see even even when you do things right and you're really nice which you didn't need to be it still was detrimental to you yeah. and it's not that you're you were the arsehole in that situation obviously the other person was completely yeah. because they didn't take accountability and then like gaslit you and made it all seem yeah. like it was your fault but obviously this person here they haven't said how they've told these people they're copying them no. they could have said it in an arsehole way do you know what yeah. i mean they could have said oi what are you yeah, doing you dick. Being like oh this is fucking my design it's like oh that's not the that's not the way because some people don't i know it sounds weird but some people don't know what copyright is <laughs> and yeah don't know. and inspiration there's certain things and like there's certain styles where you can't necessarily copyright a style but if it's the style plus the composition plus the color palette plus the certain text that they use then that's when you're like oh it's not just like the one thing especially when you've got a few people thing about telling taking you it, like in, um influence of things like we're all influenced by things at the world i'm heavily influenced by certain artists like keith heron is like one of my big inspirations in design and has been for years and years and years but i would never copy one of his designs and fob it off as because my then own. It, but, but then like it doesn't feel good for you either mm-hmm. because it's not, not your ma- design not that. <laughs> yeah i know it's weird isn't it it's it's really weird it is weird um, what's your view on that well, yeah, same thing. Like, it just depends on the way that you approach it because you could not be very nice about it. But yeah, uh, yeah, she's not the arsehole in this situation, I don't think. But we've not got enough context to specific no. situation. Um, 